thought I'd go ahead and give an update uh, on the cancer stuff. Uh, actually, a couple of updates. Uh, I'm going to be a little bit of winded uh, video, but I'm going to try to cover everything I want to cover. Um, there's a reason why I'm kind of showing you this band that's in the background and I'll get into that in just a bit so uh, still cancer free as far as I know I haven't had any other tests to actually check for cancer since um, January but in January it come back free um, I started to work out lift weights and I'm starting to put on some weight I gained about 16 pounds in June, and then I took the whole week of July 4th off and didn't lift weights, and I lost 4 pounds, so I guess June's weight would be 12 pounds instead of 16. Um, I bought this van the other day. It's a uh, Ford E150 conversion van. I'll get more into that in a little bit, why I bought that van. Uh, the big news is, is that while I was being treated for cancer, I spent a lot of time thinking about, you know, working 100 hours a week between my day job and the homestead and how I never really had time to enjoy life. And my bucket list kept getting longer and longer and longer and having animals on the homestead makes it difficult to travel. And I kind of decided that I'm going to take a break from the homestead. And many of you on my channel probably are going to find that to be uh, alarming. I, I actually love the homestead. Um, I love having the garden and all the fruit trees and all the animals. But it's a lot of work. And that's kind of one thing homesteading channels don't talk about. Um, I had several things outside of the cancer this year that just really made me aggravated with the homestead. And um, as an example, you know, earlier this year I had to sell off most of my goats because I simply couldn't take care of them. Um, I'm able to take care of the animals that I've got now. But, you know, it's, it's still a lot of time to do that. And uh, then I, you know put out a garden like I normally did before I got cancer and the deer jumped the fence and destroyed the garden literally every bit of it uh, I'd show it to you but I literally let the weeds grow up because there was nothing salvageable they got my potatoes they got my sweet potatoes they got all of my peppers they got all my sugar snap peas um, they got my garlic and onions like they're just wasn't hardly anything they didn't get. They got my tomatoes. <laughs> and then a few days after that, they destroyed the orchard. Again, they jumped the fence. They went in and just destroyed everything. So after the orchard, that was pretty much the icing on the cake for me. I said, you know, I need a break from this homestead. I need a, I need a break from this lifestyle. And what a lot of people don't know was... I always had this like grand plan that I never really told anybody else about and there's a reason why I never told anybody else about it and let me tell you what that reason is and this might sound selfish or insecure but it's the truth um, my goal when I bought this house was to be self-sufficient 100% debt free in six and a half years now had it not been for the cancer, I would have met that goal. The only thing I owe on right now is my house. And I could pay it off if I really wanted to crack down and get serious about it. I could pay it off in 12, 14 months, somewhere around there. Um, and then once the house was paid for, my entire plan was, I was then going to start traveling and doing my bucket list items, right? Because I wouldn't have no bills. And I could either hire someone to take care of the animals while I was gone or maybe, you know, sell off the animals and take a break, kind of like I'm getting ready to do. And basically I would spend time traveling and with no debt, 
the sky's the limit on what you could do and where you could go, right? So, um, anyways, once I got cancer, I just kind of like moved that thought to a higher priority level. And, you know, when you have doctors tell you that generally the survival rate for the type of cancer you have is about 20% for 12, 12, 12 months, 20%, 12 months. But then because of my um, uh, because of my fitness level and I generally eat clean and that sort of stuff, they raise us to 85, but 85% is still not 100%. <laughs> and uh, it just got me thinking, like, I, I got all this stuff I want to do and accomplish. And... Uh, for me to start doing those bucket list items, I got to raise that whole entire um, thing up. So my plan is that I bought this van. And let me go ahead and show that to you. I bought this van used um, after I was looking at new vans that was going to cost me about $40,000. I was actually looking at a Dodge Sprinter. And, uh, you know, it's about $40,000 new. And then, um, you know, you're probably looking at ten dollars to $20,000 to convert it into what you want to do. So now you're up to $60,000. And that really wasn't my goal to get out of debt, right? <laughs> so what I did was um, I found a, a van that I could pay cash for. And I bought this and paid cash for it. And then all of the stuff that I'm going to do on the inside, I can pay cash for. And I'm staying out of debt. <laughs> um, I'm basically taking some money out of my savings that I probably wouldn't normally take out. But for this, I'm going to go ahead and do it. So, what does that mean for the Homestead Channel? That means that two thoughts come to mind one i'm going to i'm going to still keep doing videos around the homestead that are homestead related and i'm going to create a separate channel for like the van conversion and travel um and i'll let you know i'm still kind of like in the planning stages i ha haven't really come up with a channel permanent channel name yet for that um i got some ideas what i want to do. I got some ideas I'm throwing around in my head and it's just trying to make it all work um, but so I plan to keep doing homesteading videos until I actually leave in the van now my thought process is I'm going to do some build videos on how I actually convert all of this and uh, kind of help maybe someone else along that might want to know how to do this and then, you know, I got the goats and the chickens and the rabbits that I have to do something with. I'm probably going to sell them to another homesteader. Um, and the bees I'm going to keep because the bees, they're low maintenance. They, they'll survive on their own. Um, and uh, same way with the orchard, assuming the orchard survives all the deer damage they'll grow on their own um so my goal is you know it's july 9th now i've got tags and insurance and registrations all taken care of i got to do some uh work to the van to get it mechanically sound this van even though it's a 1999 it only has 90,000 miles but that means that you know generally I think Ford had 70 or 100,000 mile warranties on them. So things like tune-ups, the coil packs and the plug wires and the spark plugs are all about to need to be replaced generally at 100,000 miles if I remember right. So that stuff needs done. The front shocks need replaced. Um, some of the front bushings, rubber bushings for like the uh, sway bar is probably getting worn out. But the engine itself in the transmission are perfect uh, there was a little bit of an issue when I bought it the lady told me she had some exhaust work done to it 
and I bought I actually bought the van didn't even test drive it and let me tell you why I went to go look at the van and I pulled the engine oil dipstick out and it was pretty clean like really clean and then I did the same thing on the transmission and it was also clean like really clean well that tells me it's been serviced regularly um, because even if you if you change the oil in a dirty engine that new oil is dirty pretty quick and I know how to spot that because I'm a Ford triple master auto technician or I used to be back in the day when I did mechanic work and then I got into uh, IT and infosec stuff uh, back in the 90s and that's kind of where I've been since but in 1999 when this was built I actually worked for Ford Motor Company as a uh, I did drivability and automatic transmission anyways getting off track um, so the people that are follow my homestead channel I kind of hope that maybe you'll follow me on my travel channel stuff too and just realize that a cancer is kind of what brought me to this like I I realized that you know I do this homestead and it, it requires so much time and you can't leave and you can't take vacations and I just I got so much that I want to see and do um, so I hope you understand now my thought process is it's July so hopefully by say October I've got the van done and I'm gonna take a short trip don't know what short means uh, might be someplace like um, Mammoth Cave National Park here in Kentucky and maybe I'll reach out to another national park next one closer to that down in Missouri or something like that or I've always wanted to go out to the Grand Canyon maybe I'll just take a week and go out to the Grand Canyon that's a pretty long trip in a new van if anything's going to go wrong it should go wrong then um, either way what I'm getting at is I'm going to do some short trips in it after it's built to make sure everything works the way I think it's going to work and uh, then next year I'm going to try to do I kind of have a plan I'm going to try to do all of the lower 48 national parks um, it's going to take about a year my kind of idea is I'm going to keep my day job I'm going to use evenings and weekends or my travel days to get from national park to national park and I'm going to spend a week at each national park where I have service so that I can do my day job so kind of like you know i get up in the morning i do my day job monday through friday and then at that national park i got the evenings to explore and the weekends to explore and then when i've explored everything at that national park i can drive somewhere else and get set up and kind of repeat that over and over and over again um that's my idea on paper it seems like it works but you know it may not and if it don't work I've always got the homestead to come back to so uh, that's kind of where I'm at that's kind of the cancer update and that's kind of like my future plans with the homestead channel um, I'm doing this at just as I'm starting to get better from the chemo brain and my thoughts could change by October I might build the van or and say to heck with this <laughs> or i might find something mechanically wrong with the van and just decide to sell it like it is now who knows but um just to kind of let you know what i've been thinking why the van is sitting here i saw my truck and my car and my atv and everything else but uh that's kind of where i stand so as always god bless you god bless your families god bless your homesteads thank you